at number nine on my list of China's top ancient towns, known as a museum of ancient dwellings, an enchanting painting of lush mountains and serene waterways, and a rich emblem of the Chinese Huizhou culture. This is Shidi Ancient Village. Hi, I'm Noah, and I make videos exploring China and completing random travel challenges everywhere I go. I bet you're wondering what my Shidi Ancient Village challenge is. Don't worry, I'm saving that as a surprise for the end of this video. But it doesn't take long exploring this breathtaking village to discover why they call it a museum of ancient dwellings. I literally could just make a video of me walking along the streets and alleys here. The scenes are just that rich. The combination of weathered white walls, dark gray tiles, graceful archways, winding alleys, and plush green mountains in the background instantaneously whirls you through time. Each step, each angle paints its own architectural masterpiece that will stop you in your tracks. During my travels, I always make time for a morning run, but here in Shidi, it's more of a jog and pause experience, because every two seconds, I feel compelled to stop and capture the scene right before me. But what I think makes these sites most extraordinary is the fact that history and culture run deep in every brick, every tile, every intricately carved detail. Shidi is a testament to the well-known Hui architectural style here in China. And don't let the simplicity of its black and white fool you. This Hui style architecture was created by and for some very affluent Shidi merchants in history. And you can tell when you enter their homes to discover opulent courtyards decorated with exquisite antiques and engravings. Shidi isn't just an artist's paradise. It's an interactive craftsmanship wonderland that invites you to touch, sit on, walk through, and immerse yourself in history. To dive even deeper into this craftsmanship wonderland, I'm now interviewing some of Shidi's shopkeepers to better understand the pure depth of Shidi's arts culture. Shidi 这边的话, 主要是以专雕, 木雕, 石雕, 这三方面是比较出名的 南方这边的话, 就是灰工的话, 一般像家里的那种门楼啊, 还有里面的一些横梁上都会这种雕刻为主就是不看不听不说就是不多说嘛就是这个意思 The next stop on this craftsman's journey is Shi Yuan a famous old garden style home in Shidi laden with generations of exquisite artistry 我哥他继承了这些灰雕手艺不需要的地方把它一点点削掉刻掉字就凸出来了这就叫羊雕我们这边这个手艺是传男不传女传到我哥这一代已经有十代第十代有了像你们村口看到大牌楼胡文光大牌楼就是我们祖辈那时候一点
本。这个就是茶尖尖，哦，这一种的做起来就是这种的，哦，这种的，哦，这种小嫩头口感就好一点。But let us not dare forget one of the greatest masterpieces here in Shidi, the Shidi pancake. If you ask me how I like my pancakes, I usually say butter, no maple syrup. But a world away from the U.S. of A. and my breakfast happiness meter is all the way up with the Shidi pancake. All you need is the fluffiest dough you can find, a well-mastered blend of local vegetables, chili, noodles. Wrap it all up in a bao bun, slam it on the grill until it's hot and crispy. But I guarantee you, your homemade version isn't nearly as good as it is underneath that Coca-Cola umbrella stand crafted by this purple-clad magician. That all being said, the most spellbinding enchantment in Shidi unveils itself after the sun goes down. At night, Shidi transforms into a Disney fairy tale as enchanting, colorful lights dance in harmony with choreographed waterfalls. At the end of a long day, the analytical historian in me has gone to sleep, and all I yearn to do is to wander aimlessly through the ancient streets and just wonder what it would be like if I was in an exotic, magical town far away from home. Because after all, you don't need the fancy lights to convince me. I am in an exotic, magical town far away from home. If there was ever a charming storybook village where ninjas, princesses, elves, and fairies roamed, it would be Shidi. It's almost time to put my Shidi adventure to bed, but now it's challenge time. Which means it's time for me to spin the wheel to decide the fate of my Shidi ancient village challenge. Earthbending challenge. We are now standing deep in rural earthbending country. Today, your challenge is simple: learn how to earthbend.